Today, we are still solving systems of equation using, using algebra, but today we're starting off with a slightly different scenario. So, up until now, we've had equations with y equals something, but we haven't had a situation where we had x equals something. Fortunately, it doesn't change our method very much. All right, so we're still going to use substitution. The difference is we're going to substitute all of this stuff in for x into the second equation instead of y. All right, so we're going to have instead of 5 times x, we're going to do 5 times 2y minus 6 plus 4y equals 26. All right, notice this equation. It has all y's in it. So we're actually going to solve for y first this time. All right. So distributive property, 10y minus 30 plus 4y equals 26. I've got y's on the same side, so I'm going to group them together. 10y's plus 4y is 14y minus 30 is still there, equals 26. Now I can solve this. Add 30 to both sides. 14y equals 56. Divide both sides by 14. y equals 4. All right, so I'm halfway there. I've got y. Now I need to go back and find x. And notice, my first equation is an x equals equation. So that is going to be the easier one to use. So. If I want to know the value of x, I'll use the x equals equation. x equals 2 times my y value, which is 4, minus 6. So whatever that equals is my x. 2 times 4 is 8. Minus 6 is 2. I just found my solution to my system. x is 2. y is 4. And notice, I found the y first. But that doesn't change where y goes in my solution. y is still the second number in my coordinate because when we list the coordinates to a point, x goes first, y goes second.